It's really cold today. The current temperature is like minus 13 degrees, but the feeling temperature is like minus 23 degrees in the forecast. Because it's really windy here. It's really empty here. I only saw two people so far on this Mustik Kama. Well, it's really understandable because it's really cold today and it's still like 9.30 a.m. in the morning. Actually, I have wanted this kuksa for long. Quite good quality and uh, I think this is quite pricey. If I understand correctly, some craftsmen make this by hand. And then my friend Elsa gave me this uh, kuksa for my birthday gift and it has my name on it and I like this smell It's amazing that even on this tiny island they remove snow with a truck my hometown Kyoto, it's not really snowy city, so we don't have lots of snow. So when it snows, many public transports are delayed or they just stop operating. But it's always like surprising that in Finland, even though there are lots of snow, thanks to those like uh, people parking 24-7 to clean and remove snow, public, public transport works really well. But last week, when the freeze continued for like a week, uh, many trains actually stopped, especially the intercity train. Ooh, I'm going home now. And I need to go to town. I need to warm up my body. I got home and went to sauna, feeling really fresh. <laughs> I have leftover soup from last night, so I'm gonna make curry from it. The soup has really good flavor from pork and vegetables, so I think it's gonna be a good curry and rice. Okay, I had lunch. I'm actually meeting a YouTuber today, Finnish YouTuber, and ever since I moved to Finland, I have been following her channel and learning Finnish culture and language from her content, so I'm looking forward to it. Uh, we have been following each other on Instagram, and she also knows that I have a YouTube channel, and she has commented on my videos sometimes. 
and I'm hoping to make some kind of collaboration video someday. <laughs> but today, maybe I should just propose the idea. Yeah, but before that, I need to go have a haircut because my hair is really thick. <laughs> and next week, I don't really have time to go have a haircut. So I should go today. Okay, I had haircut. The hairdresser was actually from Greek and he was really nice and friendly. And he was saying he likes living in Finland and he loves this like cold, dark weather. <laughs> so I really like his positivity. He doesn't speak Finnish, so he manages everything in English and he is amazed by like English ability of Finnish kids. Like even six, seven year old kids speak some English like well enough to communicate with him about the hairstyle <laughs> and all the other stuff so I like the hair itself but also I really enjoyed talking to him okay so we are supposed to meet up at the cafe <laughs> Oh, I actually haven't told you to whom I'm meeting. So I'm meeting uh, this Finnish YouTuber, CatChat. She has been making content online quite long, I'll say. And lately she's focusing on like videos about Finnish language. So I think most of her viewers are like international people who are living in Finland or who are studying Finnish or who are thinking of moving to Finland <laughs> so if you are a foreigner I think you know her quite well if you are Finnish you might not know her because probably you are not watching videos about Finnish language <laughs> this is great because I was watching her videos for long and I started my YouTube channels a few years ago and finally I get to see her like uh, as a YouTuber friend Okay, okay, I'm going home. It was really a nice, fun and informative meeting. We kind of agreed to make a collaboration video. <laughs> and we were discussing what could be like interesting content for us to make together. Yeah, but let's see what kind of ideas we will come up later. I had to drop by Gato, the pastry shop, to get the Brunebering torte. It's gonna be my dessert. I'll tell you a bit more about it later tonight. Sometimes people ask me what kind of rice do I use and where do I buy it? Actually these two types of rice are from Japan. I brought them when I went there a few months ago and I have this white rice and brown rice and I usually mix them and after that I add this quinoa. So these ones are really nutritious I think. So when I cook at home and make some other meals I usually eat it with this Japanese rice. It's really sticky and I and it's kind of sweet in my opinion. So the more you taste and you bite, you start feeling like the sweetness in rice and I like it. But when I make fried rice, I use this jasmine rice because it's not sticky at all. So it's really easy to make fried rice with eggs, some meat and vegetables. It goes really well in my opinion, but usually I use this is a more round shape Japanese rice and when you boil rice usually before that you are supposed to wash it three or four times but this is a bit like a special version so I don't even have to wash it yep so I'm gonna make Japanese cutlet or we call it tonkatsu uh, with some uh, miso soup I guess so let's start cooking I'm quite hungry
5 out of 5 Okay, so I'm having this Runeberry in Torut In English it's Runeberry Torut Yeah, so this is a raspberry jam and it's like a sugar this is actually my favorite Finnish dessert. Oof. Oh, before I eat this, I should maybe explain a bit about this uh, sweet. So it's Runeberin Torut. Uh, it was named after this Finnish famous poet, Johann Ludwig Runeberi. Yeah, so basically in different pastry shops and supermarkets, they start selling this Runeberin Torut in January and they stop selling after February 5th, which is Runeberin Paiva. So this is a seasonal sweet. But the taste is, uh, it's really hard to describe, but I actually once made this with my friend, like a few years ago, and that time we used the leftover gingerbread cookie. Actually, I buy this Runeberin Torutte like every year from different shops and compare and to find out which is my favorite. I even asked in Twitter or X or whatever that uh, what other good places to buy Runeberry in Torute and people have apparently different opinions. But if you come to Finland in January, you should definitely try this. And if you're Finnish, uh, feel free to let me know any good places to try Runeberry in Torute. To be honest, I had this two days ago, yesterday, and I'm now having this today, so <laughs> maybe too much. Anyway, thanks for watching this vlog. I'll think about what kind of content I should make with Cat Chat as a collaboration video. Uh, I hope to see you in my next video, Moika. Hmm.